What would you say to some last minute voters? Maybe they haven't gotten to the polls yet. I would say they should come out and they should exercise their democratic right to participate in our democracy. We have a great country, and it's only great because we have a good pe we have good people in our country. And uh, today's a time when everyone should come out and make their voice heard, regardless of what their opinion is. Obviously, nationwide too, the Democrats have been pushing to take over the House. How do you feel nationally about the control of the House? Well, I'm guardedly optimistic. I think we can maintain control, but regardless of uh, what happens, if I'm reelected, I'm going to go back and continue the bipartisan work that I've done, uh, where I rank 18th out of 435 members of the House for being bipartisan. Because I do think in this polarized time, we need to have people willing to work across party lines to get things done for the country. They were saying that it's a little over 130 people have voted so far. How do you feel about the numbers that you're hearing? Oh, we always vote pretty pretty high in, in Kinderhook, and so typically uh, uh, close to 80 percent of uh, voters, uh, registered voters here, will vote, and I expect that will be true today. We've seen unprecedented numbers of absentee ballots, particularly in Columbia and Greene County, for a midterm yeah. election. What are your thoughts on that? Is, do you think that has a lot to do with your race? Yeah, I think yeah, this is a, it's obviously a contentious race. Uh, there's been millions of dollars spent, a lot of money's flown in uh, nationally. And so that does, does tend to uh, increase voter participation. And voter participation is good, so I'm happy to see it. It has been a contentious race. Um, do you have any regrets for how things were run? Uh, I'm very happy today that the election uh, is being decided today. I'll be glad when we can go back to auto dealer ads and furniture and pharmaceutical ads and mattress ads instead of political ads. Either way, what's your plans for tonight, win or lose? Uh, we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate American democracy and hopefully we're celebrating a win in the 19th district. Uh, but regardless of what happens, uh, I respect the judgment of the people.